What's up people, it's King Dub the 7th and we just came from a great first two days of the NALCS. We couldn't really ask for a better first week. The first day had, I mean, I can't think of a game that was bad. Maybe the worst game in the first day uh, was Dignitas versus NRG, but, or Energy, whatever, NRG, Energy. But that's only because Dignitas just couldn't get a Baron and they kept getting their Barons taken from a victor. I don't know how that works. I mean, it's not like the jungler wasn't right there and had Smite. But whatever, you had that, you had Immortal showing how dominant they could be. We had great games between TSM and COG and TSM and Liquid. We had a bunch of new teams and new uh, players showing how good they are. It was just an awesome first week. And I'm gonna be here to, I guess, summarize the week, give my player or players of the week, give my plays of the week or play of the week, uh, give my match of the week. I'm not gonna do any power rankings for this week. That uh, I'm gonna do power rankings for this week, but I'm gonna do that in a different day later in the week. For right now, I just wanna go over the awesome things that happened in the first two days of the LCS. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we have to cover is the game of the week, which is a very hard choice for me because there were so many, so many really good games in the first two days of the NALCS. Now the very easy game to pick would be the TSM versus COG game because I mean it was TSM versus COG. That's always gonna be a good game. It's like the biggest rivalry in the NALCS probably in all of the esports or at least League of Legends Esports. Uh, it was the first game of the season and it was already the first game with five dragons and about two different barons. Uh, it was a tight game throughout the whole of the almost hour that it lasted, but that's not gonna be my game of the week. My game of the week is going to be Immortals versus TIP because that game was just a stomp. It was a stomp and it showed how good Immortals could possibly be. I mean, it was against the worst team in the NALCS possibly in Team Impulse, but it was the first time that we had a game end before 20 minutes in the NALCS. Not only that, but it was a perfect game. Team Impulse, I believe, didn't get a dragon. They didn't get a tower. They didn't get a kill. Team Impulse got absolutely stomped. They got just dumpstered by this Immortals team. Now again, you could easily say that's what Immortals are supposed to do because Team Impulse is like arguably the worst team in NALCS. But I mean, how many times has the top team destroyed the bottom team like this before? Never. Never. It was a monumental stomping, a monumental crushing of another team. And it was just so entertaining to watch. It was so entertaining to watch Wild Turtle go off. It was so entertaining to watch. Like, everyone just had a great game. Rainover went off. Hoonie went off. Everyone just did their job so fantastically. And you know Adrian did his job well because nobody died. Wild Turtle almost died a couple of times. He almost died from a ganking lane. He got Alistar headbutted into the enemy team, and then I believe a Trundle came to gank, but because of a great disengage by Adrian, Wild Turtle stayed alive from a great tornado. It was just a all around great game by Immortals, and I loved every second of it. It was like, if you're a college football fan, it was like watching Alabama play against, uh, like, Notre Dame or like any team that they played against except for this team didn't score or they like they didn't it was just it was it was crazy it was crazy that was my game of the week the next thing we're going to talk about is the play of the week for the NALCS now there are a bunch of great plays such as Piglet's triple kill against team Renegade but for this one I'm going to have to go with a tie because these two plays in my opinion were just equally great one is gonna be wild turtles quadra kill and this is great just because it was the first quadra kill of the NALCS spring split and it was almost a penta I forgot who stole the penta I believe it was Poe Belter who got a kill earlier in that uh and that fight against C9 
that's going to be the first play. The second play of the week is going to be Hunia on uh, Fiora, who just totally outplayed the four-man or three-man gank on him in the top lane and Po Belter and team came to help him clean up. Let's take a look at both of these plays. Seeker seeking out the prey. He gets the kill he needs. And it looks like Immortals makes their way into the base. This time stopping their feet left and right. Rush is gonna take a final hit from Turtle. He is on a bunny foo-foo, even through a breakable. Almost takes him down. And just waiting for a minion wave here. I got no turtle's not. Never mind. He doesn't need to wait. They are on to the Nexus turrets. One's already down in Immortals, clearly in the base. Oh, and they get it! <laughs> the quadra. the quadra for Turtle! Turtle always picking up Quadras, right at the end of the game. Right when he doesn't even need this. It's gonna be money. very difficult. He's gonna get Fang first. Oh, Healy, man. stuck at 1v3, just kidding, the 2v2. Po out there is here. And look at that, Immortals is turning the fight right around. Right round, baby, right round. In comes Ken, they want to get someone to happen. Hooney still not going down. Po Belzer on the chase. Kills off Bebe, he Keep got going. back, and now Hootie is still in the chase. Gate dying as well. It was two versus four, and they win it. Immortals living up to their name. So last but not least, we have to talk about the MVP. But before I do so, I must mention that I realize that every single award on this list has had something to do with Immortals. MVP is no different because MVP is Wild Turtle. Now let me put some stats out there for you. The Immortals players have the least amount of minutes played in the NALCS of the team of the players that have played two games. So this does not include players like Impact or the Energy Jungle. It does not include the uh, Liquid subs and the Liquid players that were subbed out because those players have played one game. But the Immortals have played the least amount of minutes in the NALCS and Wild Turtle is at the top of the list and kills and KDA even with this being the case. He's not at the very top, but he's near the top. And total kills, Wild Turtle is number five behind Freeze, Piglet, Doublelift, and Shifter. Now this is absolutely amazing because when you look at the minutes played, Shifter has played 72 minutes, Double Up the play has played 88 minutes, Piglet has played 105 minutes, and Freeze has played 97 minutes. While Turtle has only played 45 minutes, and he is number 5 on the list at in kills. So if you want to talk about efficiency, Wild Turtle is very much at the top. He's also like nowhere near them in kill participation, which means that Armor has a far less chance in getting kills than the rest of the other players. He's also third in KDA behind two supports who don't really die much. Adrian is number one in KDA, and I believe he's also, no, Adrian is number two in assist. But that doesn't matter. We're talking about Wild Turtle right now. Now, what I said in my video before is I said that what Wild Turtle needed was he needed a team that was able to rein him back, but I take that away totally because that's not what Immortals is doing. Rather than rein Wild Turtle's back and his aggressiveness, they are right there with him and being super aggressive and it's working for them because Wild Turtle's playing fantastic, absolutely fantastic for Immortals right now. And that's why he's our MVP. Now I hope you guys enjoy this, I would love to hear your opinions on a lot of the topics that were brought up in this video. Please like the video and subscribe for more NALCS coverage. Thank you for joining me for this video and have a great day.